So this is Brendan, and I hope you're having a great day. What I'm doing right now is working on some sketches, thumbnail sketches, for absolutely nothing. Um, the reason it's absolutely nothing is because, uh, well, it's for something. That's why. So I guess what I'm trying to say is it is for something. The point is this is for a lesson I'm working on for my new, uh, my updated version of From Drawing to Illustration. And what I have to do is to demonstrate what is sketching. And one of the things that I want to do with this is to, to show some like uh, thumbnail sketches. So I'm going to do a quick thumbnail of, and this is where, you know, it gets confusing why I don't know <laughs> exactly what I'm doing because I, I don't know what to make thumbnail sketches of. So what a perfect time to start recording. Hmm? And here I can have a tree in the background, I guess. There's a guy running. I just decided while I'm doing this. I have to be very quick because um, there's too many things to do, really. There's a tree in the background. And maybe another one with like some perspective. What happened, there's multiple things going on at the moment. Whereas I just, uh, I'm using the GIMP, and you would have to have a very keen eye to notice that it's different than it usually is. That's because I'm on Windows now. Now, being that I'm on Windows, because I just installed it, actually, I had to pay for it. It was like $100. Um, and it wasn't easy to install. They don't make it easy to install from scratch, because I bought my computer as a Linux computer and it only had uh, Linux on it. So if you want to install what they call the clean install of Windows, they make it very difficult. <clears throat> you have to do all this stuff. I mean, it's one thing to just download it and install it. I do that with Linux all the time, and I have to know how to install an operating system. I mean, Linux is supposed to be the, the complicated one, actually, technically speaking. But um, they make it more difficult with Windows. It's hard to explain exactly what it was. It was like, um, how do I say this? They had a, uh, I'm trying to draw this a weird perspective here. So like, here's the road coming this way. I don't think that's going to work. Uh, well, let me try a side view. It's only for, for lesson anyway. Okay. I mean, for example. So, um, yeah, not only did you uh, have to uh, download it, the thing they did to make it difficult was they put like, um, there's the code that you have to use, the product key, and that's fine that you have a product key. I'm not you know, saying it's a, a bad idea. I'm glad they want to protect their property and all that, but it didn't work. <laughs> so that that's kind of a problem. I paid $100 for it, and it doesn't work. So I'm looking at why it doesn't work, and it's because it's a new product key. Of course, how can the software know before it's even installed that this product key exists? So first you have to install it, like do a blank install and say skip this step and then you can install it. And it took me a long time to figure that out. That was, you know, kind of the problem. Now I'll do the horizon on a tilt like this. I'm still going to make it simple, like one point perspective. And the tree here. Yeah. See, it's the reason I have too much one point perspective maybe is be for this reason exactly that... I always start off with too simple of a thumbnail, and that kind of thing happens. Well, I'll try and avoid that this time. So yeah, I got this, and of course when I get the Photoshop, I just spent a lot of money, and it's not even just the money, but the time is a big problem. I, I could you know, muster up the money to get Photoshop, even though it's a lot. I have to you know, muster it up, but the amount of time that I've already put into setting up the hotkeys and everything for this, uh, even just for the GIMP to get this working, I'm losing many, many hours of work just to do this. But I had to install Windows because there's so many things I can't do, such as uh, playing Fallout. <laughs> on, <laughs> I can't play Fallout on Linux operating systems. So, yeah, and I haven't bought that yet either, but I will. I'm actually catching up with games that I haven't played for the past, like, five years still. Um... Skyrim. I don't know how long that's been out, but when it was when it at, it, at its peak is Game of the Year in 2012, I believe it was 2012. Yeah, it was almost like three years ago. Um, and so this is the lesson in a peak. I'm not allowed to to show, but this is what we're covering. 
this last one. What is sketching? How do you sketch and the techniques? How to push around guidelines, thumbnails. And it's going to be a new lesson up on uh, Udemy at uh, udemy.com. Udemy.com. You can go buy that lesson. There's probably a link down underneath. I'm uh, putting this up on YouTube. So uh, this is kind of like a test. For, you know, on YouTube, I can do these simple things sometimes and just ramble. Um, I can't do that on Udemy lessons, obviously, because it's an actual lesson and people complain and give ratings. If you want to complain and give me a thumb, thumbs down here on YouTube, you can, but it was YouTube anyway, and I wouldn't even make a penny <laughs> if I made anything off of this, so it doesn't matter. Um, however, I do appreciate your views, and we'll be having some much better content up. Another reason I want to put this video up is because it's been two weeks. I had to go visit some family, and I literally uh, even planned on continuing my videos while I was visiting family, but forgot my microphone, and again, the cost of these things, it all adds up. So can't just go buy a new noise cancellation microphone every time you travel somewhere. It's uh, kind of a pricey thing to have, and I don't want to have too much junk. So I'll leave this here for now. That was just some thumbnail sketches and show you some of what I'm doing now. I'm preparing this for the new lesson at, uh, at my Udemy there. It's called From Drawing to Illustration, FDTI for short. And uh, you'll see that at Udemy. Uh, it will be updated. For those of you who are already enrolled in that class, what I'm doing here is I'm updating all of the lessons in that class. And I'm going to add uh, a bunch more, such as uh, some coloring, color theory, uh, digital painting, and regular painting, and stuff like that. So that course, if you've already paid for it, is going to be highly improved. And I hope you'll appreciate that. Um, that's it for this video. See you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.